Hi, my name is Ben up at Bullion RV in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our brand new 2022 Reflection 278BH. This Reflection here is going to be one of our units in the 150 series. Give you a walk around the outside here. I'm going to get to the front cap, start under that nice cool awning there. Got a pretty hot day here today. Really sharp looking black and white. Again, the 278BH. You even have got the lights here to help you with hooking up at nighttime. This is gonna be the turning point hitch, so it would work well with short boxes. Uh, you got the auto level system on this unit. Press a button, it'll level itself. And up here, you do have some extra storage. This is where our battery's gonna go. You got room for some additional storage, maybe another battery, some things like that. You are going to have tinted windows to help on hot days like today. Storage doors here, slam latch storage doors, very nice thickness with great insulation, magnets to hold them up. Pass through storage here, uh, you can either do the auto level in the front, otherwise you got this here too. And this also, this control panel can control everything for you on the unit, otherwise you also have controls inside. So they give you many different options for controls in many different locations. Also to notice, you got heat ducted down into the pass-through storage here. All your hookups in one spot. Uh, black and gray tank dump valves here. Um, and then you're gonna have hot and cold outdoor shower right there. Really good uh, winterization labels. And then your black tank flush as well. Just a real sharp looking unit. Give you a We'll keep going outside here and underneath the slide I'll show you better on the other side but you do have um, the Moride shackles in between already installed on this unit. It'll be a little bit smoother ride that way. Nice big windows in the slide. This is where your fridge is going to be as that's the service panel. You have a dump valve in the back as well. And then you see your propane lines, you're gonna have that rear, right behind your rear wheels there, that's gonna help with that auto level. On the back end, pretty cool here. Really big storage spot. This is gonna be under the bunks. Motion sensor light back here. You also notice the aluminum framing that happens throughout the unit. Again, slam latch storage doors. The hitch here, this is rated for 3,000 pounds. You might want to be careful just what you're hooking up to that. Some places you can double tow. Uh, quick connect spray port here. What's nice about that is you do have your outdoor kitchen right around the corner. Pre-wired for a backup camera up top. A little noisy today. We got holiday weekend, 4th of July coming up and everybody's going with their campers and their boats to get out and have some fun. Nice little fridge on the outside here, stove top. Closes nice and easy, tucks away, just nice and simple. 110 plug-in, you can always put coffee maker, crock pots, air fryers, things like that. Again, slam latch doors, those magnets to hold it up. Really, really nice big awning. Gosh, it feels great standing under this, getting out of the sun for a little bit. Outdoor speakers, you can have one here and actually one on the other side of the door, which is really nice to have that because if you have them right together, what's the point? You know, having them separated, you're getting better use of both speakers. There you see those Moride shackles in between the wheels. And I'll pop up front here quick so we can see the other side of the pass-through storage. You can have motion sensor lights in here as well. Our battery disconnect right there. Stepping inside the camper, this is one with the Arctic insulation. Just a real sharp looking unit. Very versatile, this unit too. You really could use it for a lot of different types of things. Radio, uh, that is Bluetooth connectivity on that as well. CD and DVD. Our control panel here. Um, right now this is a little tight, that's why it kind of sprung open. But our control panel, you know, again, you can control pretty much everything right in here. And you also have the touch screen pad out in the pass-through store. So either location, you can control everything. Really nice to have that because you don't have to come back and forth. You can just control where you want to control. Nice big U-shaped dinette here. Lots of space. I mean, that would make into a bed. You have a nice couch over here. That would make into a bed. Lots of great storage up top. Really deep cupboards as well. 
You're gonna have these pull down MCD shades, nice blackout shades, good for insulation as well. Really good storage um, with all the drawers here. Got my camera in the way. And it's nice, they put the TV up out of the way. That maximizes the counter space and the storage capability. It is a smart TV, so it is ready for streaming if you wanna do Netflix and things like that. Again, they just, grand design is very, very good at cramming as much storage as they can. Now with this oven, it is a little bit bigger than some of the other ovens that we do see in our RVs. Cupboards above the sink, one of the main keys. Can it fit a plate and pot and pans? It can, it definitely is deep enough. The gas electric Dometic fridge on this unit specific. Now here we have some things with a tire link and then that is gonna be our sink cover as well. Into the back bunk area, nice big, huge double wide bunks, windows in both spots. You're gonna have 110 plug in down here, your own light to use up top. Again, really nice big double wide bunk, USB plug in, 110 plug in, even got a vent up top and another couple of their own windows. Good hanging storage back here. And then you do have a TV back your location, hookups up top. So if you wanna put a TV back here, then you have additional drawers that pull out down here for storage, one, two, and three drawers. And then you're gonna have a sliding door back here, which is closed right now. And then the magnet would hold it on this side. It's really, I mean, when you start talking about what people are looking for, what you look for, checks a lot of boxes off as far as counter space, storage, bunk, sleeping, um, heat vents up off the floor. There's many, many things to touch on. Really, it matters what matters most to you, but this does appeal to a lot of customer bases. Porcelain toilet, easier to clean, better quality that way. They give you an actual shower door, hard shower door. A lot of people do enjoy that. Nice big shower too. Again, they do a good job of storage in the bathroom as well. You do have a motion sensor light here in the bathroom. And they do give you a nice size sink. Put some nice little drawers in here as well. Got the fancy Furion, uh, Furion thermostat. Right now it says we're at 115 degrees in here. It's a little warm. And you know, obviously you'd have your AC going versus we can't do that. You got your USB plug-in up here, 110 plug-ins on both sides, a little bit of storage all around. One of the coolest parts about this bedroom though, oops, is the closet. Without having a slide in the bedroom, you still get a really deep closet with four dresser drawers and an actual hanging closet. And an easy bed to walk around. Sorry, my camera went a little haywire there for a second. Uh, easy bed to walk around. You got the barn style sliding door. Just really maximizes your space. Give me another little peek at this on the inside here. And again, my name is Ben from Bullion RV. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see this unit, take a look at it. Give me a call, shoot me a text at 507-402-2254. Thanks.